It's often it's often made me wonder, you know, traveling down the N9 between Uniondale and Willowmore. Um, in the middle of the crew, in the middle of the semi-arid ar desert, you don't know what you're going to find, and then you find this. Yes, a sign that says there's a tap one kilometer away. The virtual oasis in the desert, the, the, the tap of wa the water of life. <laughs> but yeah, we uh, we find this on the N9 in, in between Willowmore and Unionel, and for a long time it's it's really fascinated me. Why would somebody put a tap outside you? Who would put it out you? And, and what? The mysteries remain unsolved. And yeah, it is. In the middle of the desert. Well, semi arid desert. This tap in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> As you can see, there's not much around here. Let's see. Let's go have a look. Ah, what is it called? Too much. There it is. Hey guys, <laughs> it's about ten k's on this N9, the second part, the second place to find. Uh, ten k's outside Willowmore on the way to Aberdeen. Uh, is this little thing called the Wonder Boom? Now, I don't know if you want to, if you can see, yeah, uh, but it's just plopped on the side of the road. It's been fenced off. It's apparently a freak of nature. It's two trees that have come up and joined into one. There's a signboard there. Let me read you a bit more about it. So, this Wonder Boom uh, basically, what happened is two trees came together the Gwari tree, Eudatia undulate. And the shepherd's tree, Borsia oleatus, grow next to each other. Uh, what makes this wonder tree unique is the fact that the shepherd's tree has three stems coming out of the ground. I think you could probably see them in the middle there. Uh, two of the stems have joined each other, forming the eye of the needle, and the third stem has grown through the eye, forming the thread, thus wonderfully creating a needle and thread effect. The quarry tree merely keeps the shepherd's tree company both these plants are regarded as shrubs, but due to years of grazing by stock, they're now regarding as trees. So as you can see, it's a rather strange occurrence. While making the formal road between Aberdeen and Willemore in about 1906, this unique tree was discovered. At that time, apparently, it was already a mature tree. Fairly little attention was given to this unique tree. It was only when this road was tarred in 1961. That people gave it more attention and acknowledged the Wonderboom as the unique phenomenon and wonder of nature. In recent years, the tree was fenced off to protect it from being grazed and from destruction. And many people wondered why the Wonderboom is mentioned. In the 19, early 1900s, the felt surrounding Willemore was put under pressure by small stocks grazing. Both Gwari tree and the shepherd's tree are tasty. Goats, in particular, prune them in an umbrella shape, thus making them the wonder visible. It's very difficult to determine the age of this tree because of its slow growth rate, but they reckon it can be hundreds of years old. So let's maybe just see if we can go in there a bit. Maybe you can see that thread of the eye of the needle. This is also one of those trees, I've, one of those places you drive past all the time, but you never really stop. And uh, that's quite an interesting occurrence on the side of the road. It's a pity you can't really get close enough to see 
uh, I suppose it's understandable. So folks, that's the Wonder Boom. It's this tree in the middle of the desert on the side of the road. But the next one's going to be more interesting. It's the dam that was built in the middle of the desert, the Beer Flay Dam. Anyway, just I said hello to a vivid monkey who's around here, he's not popping around here. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Beer Flay Dam. You can see it there behind me. Uh, the monstrosity of a dam in the middle of the, uh, in the, middle of the desert here, yeah, in, in the middle of the Karoo. On the N9, goes over the Khrut Rafir. Um, Beer Flay Dam is one of the best storage basins in the country. Due to the high mineral content of the water is unsuited for irrigation purposes. It was built as a flood control dam to protect the Khamtuas River Valley from flooding. In order to perform its flood control function, the dam is operated at 0%. Uh, 1953 to 1957 constructed. Um, yo. Under flood conditions, the dam can accommodate 263 billion litres of water. Which will cover the area of 4,500 4, hectares. A flood that can produce a flood of 3.2 million liters per second. Jeez. There's going to be some rain to come down here for that to happen. I must be very honest. As you can see around here, there's not much. This now serves to be a bit of a picnic area. Um, and one of the places you pass on the N1. N9, sorry. Now let me go and show you what it looks up like from above. And you can see why it's so strange to have a dam in the middle of the Okay, so as you can see, uh, this is where the valley where the water would come down in the Beer Flay Dam. And as you can see, there's not much water, there's even a fence. If you look down into that valley as far as you go, uh, not much sign of water. It's going to have to be quite a rain, but I take it all the water comes sort of down this way if there is a big rain. And being in the sort of a semi arid region, I suppose the water can come down quite quickly when if there is a big thunderstorm. It's just a very, very strange one to see in the middle of such a semi arid desert region. Uh, not something we see very often around here. Certainly something for the books. I think it would be wonderful to see this place if it's actually flooded. I think it would be a awesome sight to see. In fact, we've got family members who say they were alive, they're not older than me obviously, and have seen this, this, this basin flooded. So, but that's the third one on the N9. The Beer Flay Dam, a very interesting little place um, and a lovely spot to come past. Always makes me chuckle when I see this place. But okay, onward and upward again on the on the journey forward. Thank you. Thank you for watching this forward.